right now, and he has been out of track for two years, so perhaps he is getting excited. We're excited about our wide world of sports show tomorrow. The great snooker shootout is on, as well as the rest of the Hamilton Spectator indoor games, other Canadian performances from Charmaine Crooks and Michael Smith. Back in the Blocks continues after this. Take the wrong cold medicine, and you could be sneezing at 1 a.m. Or feverish at 3. Or coughing at 5. <coughs> and poor you at 7. But with NyQuil, you get all the relief you need, so you can get all the rest you need. Why wake up like this with the wrong medicine, when you can wake up like this with NyQuil? NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, stuffy head fever, so you can feel better the next morning medicine. You used to have to do what? I used to have to wear two pants together. For all the women who've ever worn two regular maxis to get enough protection... That couldn't be comfortable. <laughs> it's inventive. Come on, it's a hassle. Oh, well, if you do what you have to do. Not anymore. Introducing Always Double Plus. Better protection than two maxis in one comfortable pad that's more absorbent in the middle and lots longer, too. Double up, never again. New Always Double Plus. Better protection than two maxis in one. Maybe it's just me, but I think the best Colonel's combo for 333 is a two-piece chicken combo. Okay, I believe the best Colonel's combo for 333 is the Colonel's chicken sandwich combo, and that's that. <laughs> On the other hand, the hot wings combo for 333 is really incredible. For a limited time, you can choose your favorite Colonel's combo. Fertown's Great Saskatchewan First Sell-Off is happening now at the Holiday Inn. Last day, Saturday, 9 till 5. Beaver three quarters as low as $12.49. Coats from $14.99. Muskrat three quarters as low as $10.99. Coats from $13.99. Raccoon three quarters as low as $13.99. Coats from $15.99. Male mink coats as low as $15.49. Female mink coats from $21.99. Fertown's Great Saskatchewan First Sell-Off ends Saturday. It is a sellout crowd here at Cops Coliseum for Ben Johnson's return to track and field. Ben says he is a changed man. No more steroids, no more lies, no more Charlie Francis, no Jamie Astefan. He's under new direction, in a different direction. When the human rocket ship crashed in Seoul, only a few people were around to help pick up the pieces. Ben Johnson's family came first, and then close behind were Toronto lawyer Ed Fuderman and personal advisor Camille Azan. I want him to do what he wants to do in terms of his life. Uh, I love his ideas, and then we will pick it apart sometimes, and then I'll give an idea, and we'll pick it apart sometimes. And I think really what I'm going to provide for Ben is really a sounding board. You see, culturally, we're the same people. Most people don't realize that Ben Johnson has done all this thing alone. He's had to train alone. He's had to suffer alone. He was caught alone. He bore the penalty alone. He wants to come back alone. There's no one to train with. He has to motivate himself on a day-to-day -day basis to train. Do you know how difficult that is? The key part of the support group is Lauren Seagrave, the new Charlie Francis of the team. Seagrave coached his former Louisiana State women's team to four straight NCAA titles. Success is 10% product knowledge and 90% knowing how to deal with people. Um, the product knowledge really is the process of developing a sprinter. Utilizing all of the knowledge available in the sports sciences, being able to synthesize it, and then apply it. But, but my ability to, to be flexible and to be able to apply the cutting edge research in, in high performance training, but still be able to mold that to the specific needs and understand the needs of Ben Johnson and the sensitivity that's required, makes me one of the, one of the people in the world that, that uh, could be very successful in this position. The new team is more, um, the more sincere, uh, you know, behind me all the way to, um, to wish me the best of luck of coming back in, on the track and also as a, a good friend after I finish track and field for the future. And uh, these are people who really helped me over the last 24 months and uh, they worked very hard. 
so so it's my time to do my job on the track. And that's where Ben is at his best. And he's grateful to be back in the race. You know, I pay my dues and everything I, I did wrong, and um, everybody does uh, give me one more chance to... Uh, I think I owe the Canadian public a big opportunity to, to come back and um, win again and make this country proud again. Ben is motivated by a number of things. I think Ben is motivated by the fact that he really wants to write his name on the pages of the athletic history in a positive way. And I think that's number one. But there is something else that makes Ben run. His father, who died last year after suffering a heart attack. Well, he will knows when I'm, when I'm win. He's going to know because um, we, are, we both have the same name. So when I'm going to block, sorry, call Ben and he'll be there. And he's going to run with me all the time. Buoyed by his new team, Ben Johnson is looking to write a new chapter in his track career. A chapter that just might include a trip to another track. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be in the bobsled? Well, depends. If I don't get hurt, uh, you know, if I be go there very, very carefully. But uh, something what me and my manager, Malara, might talk about. I'm not saying yes, I'm going to be going, but uh, I'm going to think about it. The indoor track is on his mind tonight. The 50-meter race is ahead on CTV.